Hey, what's up, everyone? Tetrick85 here, and today I'm going to be doing a playthrough, which is technically going to be a revisit. And it's not just any revisit, it is a revisit of, a, of the very first game that I've done a playthrough for on my channel, which I did, which is going to be almost 10 years from now. As a matter of fact, January 28th will mark my 10 year anniversary on doing YouTube. But anyway, the game I'm going to revisit, as you can see here, is Spyro the Dragon. This is the very first game for the PlayStation 1. And this is a playthrough that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. But before I continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. And what I plan on doing here, much like I did before, is I'm going to have each level its own video. But uh, the video shouldn't last too long. This is out of the uh, three original Spyro games. This is the one that I'm most familiar with, and this is the one that I'm actually the best at. Quote unquote best, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go to new game, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the middle one, so... Well, because, well it's a personal thing. I, I, I always have the middle slot designated as a pretty much a redo slot, or if I'm doing videos such as this, I use it as like that as well, but anyway, without further ado, let's begin our revisit as Spyro the Dragon. Let's go. Um, overwrite game? Yeah. In the world of dragons. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnork character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn the warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is an ugly that does it. Looks like I've got some things to do. Well, that happened. And Nasty Nork is a very sensitive guy, by the looks of things, and our adventure begins. And before I continue on, I do have to say that I really hope you guys are having a safe and happy new year, which I can't believe I did not do my intro with that, but yeah, happy new year to you guys. Um, of course, this is the first day of 2023. Um, yeah, I just hope you guys are having a safe time, and I cannot wait to do this playthrough, and I can't wait to do another year of content for you guys, so, and I just wanted to make sure you guys know how thankful I am that you guys are here right now, and sticking with me, hopefully it will be an awesome 2024 on this channel. So without further ado, we rescued Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. And here in the artisan world, we have to find 100 uh, gems and 4 dragons. Which I'm going to try to remember to do that here before each level. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop things off here. And in, in, the reignited, in the reignited trilogy version of this game, we got skill points alongside the second and third games, but I don't really remember what they are, nor do I really care if I'm, if I'm being honest, but um... Another thing I'll mention here before I rescue this dragon is I'm going to do the same thing I did with my other playthroughs this game, including the Ignited Trilogy, and that is I am going to be doing the normal levels plus the boss levels first, then I'm going to go back and do the flight levels, and then I'm going to go back and, and I'm going to go and finish the bonus level, which is at the very end of the game, but we're going to go ahead and rescue a second dragon named Delvin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. 
Yes, yeah, Sparks is a rather helpful little con companion that we have. Of course, I've done the other Spyro games. You guys know what Sparks is all about. Let's go ahead and take care of these Norks. Now the Norks won't actively attack you here, but they will hide. As you can see, we have the portal to, which I should show you guys, we have the portal to Stone Hill right there. It's nice actually playing this game and actually giving commentary at the same time. With my other playthrough, with both with and without commentary, I recorded the video and then did the post-game commentary later, but I'm, I'm so happy to be able to get in do both here. And if you get close enough, Sparks will actually get the treasure for you. And in this Spyro, do not jump in the water. Anyway, let's take a go to the Balloonist. His name is Marco. If you prove your worth by rescuing 10 dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly a new world. Obviously, we have not rescued 10 dragons yet, so we can't do that. Probably hear that sound. And it happens to be this blue chest right here, which awards you an extra life. We'll worry about that treasure. Actually, we'll worry about the treasure now. I, I keep on thinking this is the um, the demo where it was a locked chest, but that's not necessarily the case here. Now this glide may take you several tries. And unlike Spyros 2 and 3, there's really no point flaming the fodder here unless Sparks is a, a color other than gold. Because you don't you don't accumulate butterflies and gain extra lives that way in this game, unfortunately. That does not come until Ripto's Rage. You can see the dragon head right there. But if you look real closely, you can see the portal to Toasty right there. I'm not sure if you can make that out or not, but... That is the boss portal here in the Artisan's homeworld. But first, let's talk to Argus. Cool Flash! Do that again! The Artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other Artisan lands. And that does not include this homeland, by the way. Which, that should go without saying, but... Now we're gonna go through here. And finally, our fourth and final dragon, Thomas. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. But anyway, you go down here. Again, this Nork, like in the one who ever rescued Nestor and Delbin, it, he won't attack you, it's just he's just trying to get away with all the gems. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, that maze where we got the extra life was the, is the, um, the Dark Hollow portal. Which I'm gonna show you guys again here once we get to the main part, but anyway, without going inside, that is the portal to Town Square. And Spyro cannot hover in this game. If you push the triangle button, he just drops straight down. And 
is the rest of the treasure. We got 100 all 100 gems, rescued all four dragons. But before we end this video, I do want to show off the Dark Hollow portal since I didn't do a good job at all with that, but... Anyway, the portal is right here. You can see there's Dark Hollow. But we're actually not- I know a lot of people start this off with Dark Hollow, but I always like to go with the Stone Hill first. So that's where we're going to begin the next video. But hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the revisit of this game. I am so excited to be playing this game for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time.